Well, hello and welcome. In this presentation, we are going to look at calculating the area of some standard shapes, and then we'll move on to calculating the area of some combined or composite shapes. The standard unit of area is a square meter. We can also measure area in square kilometers, square centimeters, or square millimeters. I can translate or, or calculate the area in meters squared if I'm giving me kilometers squared by multiplying by 1000 squared. In other words, there will be 1,000 metres in a square metre, so the area needs to be 1,000 squared. Likewise, to convert metres or square metres to centimetres squared, multiply by 100 squared, or multiply by 10 squared if I want to go from square centimetres to square millimetres. Likewise, I can go and divide by 10 squared, divide by 100 squared, or divide by 1000 squared. Just for your own information, 1000 squared is a million, 100 squared is 10,000, and 10 squared is 100. So for instance, if I have 5 square centimetres, and I wish to know how many square millimetres, that will be 5 multiplied by 100. Now area is all about counting how many squares fit into a shape. So if I was looking for the area of this blue triangle, I would need to calculate how many squares fit into that shape. That's what area is all about. Right, some standard formulas. Some you probably already know, some you will learn. So, square, the area of a square is the length of the side squared. The area of a rectangle, which has a length of L and a width of W, is I multiply the length by the width. No. The area of a triangle. Now, the formula to calculate the area of a triangle is one half the base multiplied by the height. Well, what I can really think of is with a triangle, it is half a rectangle. You see, I just copy that triangle and invert it. That becomes, well, a rectangle. So I'm looking at half what I use to calculate a rectangle. Right, a parallelogram. The formula to calculate the area of a pala, pala, parallelogram, that's a hard word to say at times, is base times the height. If you think of a parallelogram, I'm just trying to find and no, I'm just here is my parale parallelogram. If I look with this triangle here and move it over here, look at that. It looks pretty much like a rectangle of length B and height H. So that's the parallelogram. I could sort of move that over there and you could see that would go there. This one would go over here and there you go. Base times height. Oops. Put that back over there for now. Next one. Right, this time we have a trapezium. Now, formula is a little bit more complicated. Here is the standard formula. Area equals one half. The length of the base plus the length of the top here, the length of the two parallel sides, multiplied by the height h. Why is that? Well, if I take this triangle here, you see this one here, and I look to flip it and move that over here, you can see here that makes a rectangle. 
and here is the actual maths with the algebra that would show how to calculate the length of this base here. I'll let you read that, pause the video if you want to have a bit of a think about that. But in summary, half A plus B multiplied by the H, the height. Right, next one. Area of a circle. This is a fairly standard one. Area equals pi multiplied by r squared. r is the radius, in other words, the length from the center of the circle to the edge here. It is half the diameter. Always make sure you're working with the radius. So pi can be approximated to 3.14, but you really should be using the pi button on your calculator. Right, we have a sector. A sector is basically a slice out of my circle. Normally it's measured in the number of degrees, and so the area is, well, I just need to work out what fraction of a circle I've taken. In other words, the fraction will be the theta divided by 360, 360 because there are 360 degrees in a circle, and then I need to multiply it by pi r squared, which is the area of a full circle. Kite. Look at the length of the diagonals, well, length of y, a length of x, and the formula to calculate the area of a kite is x multiplied by y divided by 2. Let's have a look at a couple of examples here. First one, area of a square. Let's look at one length. And then we just need to square that. So you see here our length here is 4. 4 squared, 16 square meters. Next one, area of a rectangle. Length of 8 with the 4, just need to multiply by the 8 by the 4, end up with 32 square meters. Right, next one, area of a triangle. Base length of 8, let's try that again, base length of 4, height of 8. 1 half multiplied by the B, multiplied by the H. 1 half times 4 by 8 equals 16 square meters. Next one, area of a circle. Well, the formula to calculate the area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared. Let's just check. Our radius is 3, distance from the center to the outside edge of the circle. Pi multiplied by 3 squared. 28.26. Just ensure you use the pi button on your calculator. Area of the sector. Well, 8 centimetres is the length of the radius. 60 degrees is the angle. So, what do I do? I need to work out what fraction of a circle I have. Well, it'll be 60 divided by 360, and it's pi multiplied by my r squared. Next one, area of a circle which has a diameter of 12. Now, there is the 12, and just be careful, 12 is the diameter. I need to work with radiuses. So, Area will be theta over 360, which is effectively 180 over 360. That's where I get the half from, because it's half a circle. Pi by 8, not 12 squared, but 6 squared, because I need to work with the radius. Radius is the distance from the center of this line to the edge of that semicircle. So from here to here. Use your answer 56.52 square meters. Next one. Well, now we're starting to get composite shapes. You can see here, 
there is a triangle and there is a semicircle. We need to work each of these out individually. So, area of the semicircle. One half, because it's half a circle, pi times r squared. Now, I know this length from here to here is 10. That's because of this symbol here. We have an equilateral triangle. All sides are the same length. And I need to multiply it by pi multiplied by 5 squared. That gives me the area of the semicircle. And I need to add to that the area of the triangle. Half base times the height. My base will be this distance here, which is 10. And there is my height, 11.2. So add those two up, gives you the area of that composite shape. Now, let's look at the calculating the area of this composite shape. As you can see, there are three semicircles. This one here, this one here, and this big one over here. I need to calculate the area of each one of those individually. So, first one, half, well, the area of a semicircle will be pi r squared, this one here. The radius will be 10, distance from the center to the outside is 10. Pi, half multiplied by pi, multiplied by 10 squared. This one over here, half by pi times 5 squared. Radius is 5 this time, 5 from here to here. And the final, looking at this one along here, half by pi times 15 squared because 15 squared is 30 all the way along from here to there, so half 30 will be 15. That is the radius distance from the center to the outside of my circle. Then I just need to add this one to this one, and then I need to subtract this, because that is the area, is what I'm looking for, the area inside this enclosed shape. Well, area of this trapezium, it's fairly straightforward. Half A plus B, multiplied by the H. Here's my A, here's my B. They are the two lines that are parallel, multiplied by the height. And the final one. What's going on here? Well, there are three shapes we need to work with. A rectangle, triangle, circle. Need to add the area of the triangle to the rectangle, subtract the area of the circle. So, area of the triangle, one half, length of the base times the height. Length of my base is eight, height is six. Rectangle, well, I need to add the area of the rectangle. Length multiplied by width, 12 by eight, and then I need to subtract the area of the circle. Well, pi times r squared, my radius is two. This diagram shows a diameter of four. I need to half that to give me a radius of two. Then my total area would be 107.44. It's effectively this plus this, and I need to subtract the area of the circle. Well, thank you for watching this presentation on calculating the area of some standard and composite shapes. Until next time, good maths. Bye for now.